my son. I don't know if you know it, today's a notable day. Today marks one year since the presidential election. Can you believe that? It only seems like 10. Uh, remember a year ago, we wondered how long Plumpy Trumpy could keep being a sore loser? <laughs> Turns out the answer is forever. And Joe Biden, uh, a year ago, said he ran for president to restore the soul of America. Well, I'm not sure if we've had our soul restored, but we did get the McRib back, which is a, I don't know, it's kind of a start. Things aren't great, but they could definitely be worse. In fact, on this one-year anniversary, let's look back at the many times Donald Trump warned us of what would happen under a Biden presidency. If Joe Biden became president, China will own this country. If Joe Biden gets in, your Second Amendment is gone. Your 401ks and money itself will be worth this. No city, town, or suburb will be safe. Religion will be gone, okay? Life, you could forget about that. The economy will collapse. The market will crash. The chaos and bloodshed will spread to every community in our land. We would have the greatest depression in the history of our country. Well, good calls, Nostra dumbass. You got it. Every one of those right, didn't it? A remarkable. One year later, he still hasn't let go. He's still out there searching for election fraud, like OJ, looking for killers on the golf course. <laughs> doing his best to stick it to democracy. And anyway, on this important milestone day, I, for one, would like to say thanks to all the incredible poll workers who rigged it for us. You guys, you did such an incredible job. Somehow you managed to leave no proof at all. It was the perfect crime, and we are very grateful. You know, there were, there were elections yesterday in a handful of states. Somehow those weren't rigged, though. Those were unrigged elections, because Democrats lost the governorship of Virginia. Uh, state Biden won by 10 points last year and could still possibly lose New Jersey. That one's very close. Now, I mentioned last night, they had this QAnon event in Dallas. The, the illiterati gathered in, by the hundreds <laughs> because they believed JFK Jr. and JFK Sr. were going to re-emerge and reinstall Donald Trump to power because, obviously, the Kennedys would be big Trump fans. They're... <laughs> I cannot overstate how crazy this event that is getting, it's getting almost no coverage was. We got a troll over here! We got a troll! Did, did we land on the moon? No! Did we land on the moon? No! <laughs> that they don't believe. We believe everything other than that, we landed on the moon. So sadly, the Kennedys did not show up in Dallas. I know. Um, so then the new rumor they pivoted was that they would show up at the Rolling Stones concert. There was a Stones concert in Dallas last night, and some of those in the audience became convinced that Keith Richards was JFK. <laughs> uh, tweeting, whether you like it or not, JFK Sr. was there, and I feel he was Keith Richards. <laughs> he feels like, who should be more insulted? Keith Richards by people who thought he was 104-year-old JFK, or... JFK for thinking them thinking he was a 77-year-old Keith Richards. I don't know. <laughs> this was good. One skeptical QAnut said, if JFK Jr. is revealing himself and wearing a Stones mask, they wouldn't be scheduling a concert in Detroit in two weeks and currently selling tickets. I love that that's what made him question this, <laughs> the tour schedule. It's crazy that people actually believe it. I mean, if you're going to believe that a band is the dead Kennedys in disguise, wouldn't you assume that band was the dead Kennedys? I mean, or is that too obvious? It's, it's only a matter of time before they claim JFK is the raccoon on The Masked Singer. How disappointed would JFK Jr. be if he did come back to life and this was the crowd that showed up to welcome him? One of the leaders of the group is, that's spreading this madness is a YouTuber named Mike Penny who I guess reluctantly had to admit that there was no JFK yesterday. Things so far have not happened the way we wanted them and we're told that we're gonna happen. We were told going to happen, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> told by who, Q? <laughs> How many times does Q have to be wrong before they realize he's just making stuff up? They don't even know who he is. Maybe I'm Q. You ever think about that? <laughs> it's not out of the question. If I was, this is exactly how I would do it. <laughs> Neither of the, um, of the JFKs showed up to the big party, but the, they did see some other undeceased celebrities. Whatever is happening, it will be revealed in, this, in his timing, yes. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Like you said yesterday, that Michael Jackson, David Reynolds, and some others, yes, guys, 
you will soon see the pictures that were taken online if you aren't already seeing them. But those folks were here yes, yesterday and the day before. We're going to be surprised okay. to learn that uh, those pictures of Michael and Debbie Reynolds never materialized. <laughs> Nor did Kobe Bryant and Dale Earnhardt, who were also on the list of expected guests. But there were sightings of Robin Williams and Tupac rising from the dead in Dallas. This must piss off Jesus, right? I mean, you can't just go around saying everybody's coming back. That's my thing. <laughs> we have a new World Series champion, the Atlanta Braves, so on a, their first title in 26 years. The game uh, was played in Houston, but Braves fans came from all over to witness history in the making. To be arrested. <laughs> things are changing at the company formerly known as Facebook. They're shaking things up. Last week, you know, they changed their name to uh, Meta World Peace or something, and now they've decided <laughs> to shut down their facial recognition system out of concern that the technology could have a negative impact on society. So finally, they've solved one of their hundreds of problems. I, you know, it seems a bit suspicious to me that that would just, this would happen out of the blue. So, and to help shine some light, on what's going on. We reached out to Facebook or, or Meta or whatever they call it, and Director of Communications Kelly Crooks is uh, joining us once again to, uh, to tell us more. Hi. Nice to see you, um, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Who are you? Is, oh my God, is that Jim Belushi? N no, it's not Jim Belushi, it's Jimmy Kimmel. We met before. Have we? Let me get a good look at your face. I'm sorry, it's just. It's big, you know, so this might take a minute. Yeah, no, um, it's Jimmy Kimmel, the host of the show we asked you to be oh, on. Oh, okay, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Sorry, I didn't recognize your face because I'm supposed to pretend like I'm not doing that anymore, so. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I heard that you guys shut down the facial recognition technology. What made you decide to do this now? Well, you know, that's a simple answer. We finished. You, you finished? Yeah, we, we collected all of the faces and Mark Zuckerberg's blood pact with the Dark Lord is resolved. So we're done, just as the prophecy foretold. Wait, did you just say something about a prophecy that was foretold? I'm sorry, who are you again? It's Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, okay, let me write that down because I am finding you extremely forgettable. <laughs> All right. Um, listen, don't feel bad though, because this morning I woke up and I found a man sleeping in my bed that I have never seen before. Oh my God, really? That's scary. Was it a break-in or something? I mean, he told the police he was my husband, but <laughs> who can be sure, you know? I see, I see. A lot has happened since you were here last, including your boss, Mark Zuckerberg, announcing that Facebook is called Meta now and that you guys are working on something called the Metaverse. What is the Metaverse? Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, sure. Actually, Mark and I worked together to come up with this easy to understand explainer video that is as entertaining as it is informative. Oh, okay, great. Well, can we see that? Yeah. Okay. Hi there. I'm Kelly Crooks, Director of Communications here at Facebook, or should I say Meta? Ha ha, joke, laugh. It's funny because Mark deems it so. They say, when you change your name, you change your destiny. We changed our name because as Facebook, we were all destined for prison. But now that we're meta, we have a completely clean slate and all of your personal information. Just kidding. We don't have all of it yet. And uh, Kelly, I, I'm sorry, it's hard to paint. It's a little bit hard to pay attention to what you're saying when you're moving your arms and, and hands like that. Why do you guys all do that? Is it like a required thing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you Dr. Philip McGraw? No. Because I am such a big fan of yours. I am not Dr. Phil McGraw. Okay, well then can we just get back to the video? Okay, I guess. Yeah. Introducing the metaverse, a place where users can be free, let loose, and have fun with other carbon-based life units. So what exactly is the metaverse? How is it made? And when will it be here? 
And the answer to all those questions is the same. How about you stop asking so many questions? <laughs> Thank you from all of us at Facebook or Meta or whatever. Okay, well then. Uh, that explained um, nothing really, but thank you, Kelly. We appreciate your time. No, thank you, young Sheldon. <laughs> Thanks. That's Kelly. Crooks. You know, it has been a, um, it's been a hell of a year. So about a year ago, we didn't even have a vaccine to spread conspiracies about. From time to time, we turn the clock back to look at what was in the news, and we're doing it again in a new Election Day edition of This Week in COVID History. This week in COVID history. Remember, remember, 2020's November. Eureka, big pharma Pfizer has the vaccine. I would say by April, you'll be able to be vaccinated. Have we beaten the virus? The truth is, to beat the virus, we first gotta beat Donald Trump. And beat him we did. Or did we? Frankly, we did win this election. We're winning Michigan. The winner of Michigan, Biden. We're winning Wisconsin. Biden is the apparent winner in Wisconsin. We have won Georgia. In the state of Georgia, Joe Biden is the apparent winner. We're winning Pennsylvania by a tremendous amount of money. Joe Biden has won Pennsylvania. Well, so long as he still has Arizona, the presidency is in the bag. The Fox News Decision Desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. What did the fuck say? Fox News sucks! Fox News sucks! <laughs> they seem reasonable. They're cheating and they're stealing your nation from you. It's time to fight. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. It's time to protest. Stop, stop, stop. It's time to get your MAGA on. Mind Troy family stealing the election. The media is covering up Joe Biden. It's covering up this election. He's stealing it. Where were we? What was the last question? Now let's head to the Four Seasons. Landscaping company. All the networks. Wow. All the networks. Keep it down, Rudy. They're trying to sell dildos next door. <laughs> this has been This Week in COVID History. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.